The idea is we learn how to have someone start each piece differently and then we figure out how to interrupt each other in a graceful, poetic way and move to some other reality, keep shifting realities. I like to make up words as well as sing melodies. I'm very interested in the stories that can only come if I'm in that state of mind. Pure improvisation like this is an opportunity to fully be only in that moment. And there's a way that it passes into the next moment that's more pure because you're inventing 100% of what you're doing. two hemispheres of the brain operate very differently. And one of the things that is happening when we're engaging in this is that both the right and the left side of the brain are dancing together in a way that they, they can't quite do unless you're fully spontaneous. It's one of the most amazing things that we've ever borne witness to, the human brain, and how it ties to spirit when we're interacting. I feel this, this firing of, of activity on both sides, and that is spiritual. This is a spiritual practice. Each of our work brings us to a place where we're a vessel. Something flows through us. And so for all three of us to be doing this simultaneously and just, it's, yeah, everybody in the pool. It's an activity of transformation to bring ourselves through discomforts into places of wonder and miracle and, and discovery. You can't discover by knowing. You only discover by not knowing. Lawrence and I are quite used to the musical part and how we move that, but to have Margie dancing and taking my music and uh, shaping it into her body, it's a feeling of this deep, compassionate kind of love. The three of us have got to balance. It's got to be equal, and yet at certain points, Margie's leading, or I'm leading, or Lawrence is leading, because the important part is that we thrill each other.